I just thank the Lord for it. Sitting on the porch of her family's legacy. Just my dad-in-law and my mother-in-law, they are the parents of these boys. You know. 90 year old Jeannie Carter. <laughs> The 1909 home purchased in 1944 by Sarah and Oscar Carter sits along Cole Street in Marietta. So that's the family, uh, the Carter family. What once was one of the city's largest black neighborhoods. Well, there were houses all the way from Lawrence Street down to uh, the church here were uh, black owned homes. The Carter House, one of few remaining links of the vibrant black community that sprung up on the east side of Marietta following emancipation. There were a lot of black businesses that were built, um, black churches that were established, and so the neighborhoods flourished for a long time over on that side of the square. Trevor Beeman is executive director of the William Root Museum, one of the oldest preserved homes in the greater Atlanta area that housed former slaves. Beeman researched census data from 1860. Looking at the numbers, Marietta had a population of about 2,600 people and at that time, and about 45% of the population was enslaved, which is much higher than any other city in this area around Atlanta. The museum has dedicated this sculpture to those who never had the chance to experience freedom. We created it as a way to memorialize the enslaved population of Marietta because there were so many, but very few of their names were recorded. Even before the January 1st, 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation, the Carter family beat the odds. First house that, and the only house that the Carter family uh, bought, you know, or had, you know. Owning a home that is one of the only remaining in the historically black neighborhood. I like to help somebody and to really just keep it in the family let everybody enjoy it. The Carter home was named a historical landmark by the city of Marietta in 2022 after a long fight with developers who tried to buy the property. I just I just thank the Lord for it. Huh? He just let, let the old house and the old woman stay. <laughs> Brittany Ford, Atlanta News First. Big old shut new cities, you know.